Here I will explain how you can use the tree at the left side in order to edit your part or your assembly. So at the tree you have your information here for example if you go to the model one part one and feature one exclude section you can edit your part like this so you can for example I can pick this one let me select this line I can trim it and then it gives me a warning I, I need to go back to part and I can select regenerate you see it changes but in assembly sometimes change sometimes you need to again regenerate it but we were lucky and sometimes it gives us error so sometimes when we are modifying it we might have some constraint or we modify some line based on the specific line and we if we remove that specific line we might face this error the other thing is that you can change the uh, extrusion as is uh, for example in this one was 20 we can change it to 10 and now in assembly you can see the difference Again, going back to the part, if you draw something like this, you can use Ctrl Z in order to reverse it. If you have something like this, again, so you can remove it. For erasing, you can use this uh, icon, but and again, you can Ctrl Z use Ctrl Z and uh, get back to its previous uh, condition but uh, the problem is that it is only works on the sketch you cannot have this option on the modeling so for example if I go and create a step if I Ctrl Z do use the Ctrl Z you see it's still there so the Ctrl Z options only works for sketching part when you are drawing a 2D shape but when it comes to the modeling you cannot use the Ctrl Z in order to reverse uh, what you did. This is for the editing part and using the uh, undo button. In the next video I'm gonna explain the basics of assembly.